everyone welcome to my channel this is reading truth to roll by clara i am clara and today we are reading truth today's messages is for the sign of sagittarius this is sun moon rising venus okay yes yeah, someone is holding back their emotions from someone someone is kind of a player knight of cups energy jeez abundance ace of pentacles is blocking you here you come into high intuition your third eye may be opening up as well as your um crown in the recent past you have the nine of swords you haven't been sleeping much at all oops too many too many too many too many You may be thinking of someone in nostalgia. Hold on. Yeah, the Emperor card came out and so did the Fook uh, card. Wanting to take a leap of faith. Wanting to make some kind of a move. I think you use... I don't want to say this for all, but for some, but for some of you. Some of you are in that player mode you were, and now you're, I think, leveling up a little here, wanting to take a leap of faith with someone. I feel like you're going through a transformation spiritually. I think you're starting to see things differently. I think there's been a lot of devastation in your life recently that's just made you change the way you think and see everything in the world. Oh, wait. Hold on, let me grab that. There we go. <clears throat> I feel like something that has been in the dark or something that was in the dark is... Actually, I want to say something is coming out of the dark. There's a secret that was keep, uh, kept hidden. I feel it's going to be illuminated. I feel like you had two different people and someone is going to find out or someone is, is has already find out or found out and now they're holding back their emotions. What are the messages for Sagittarius? Yeah. I feel like you're watching someone, someone who you consider the star. You may be going through a healing. You might have also been hurt in a situation as well. You, I feel like you've gone a lot through a lot recently. You have a lot going on. You want a brand new beginning with someone, I feel. You want to come in more with an open heart. Giving more of yourself, wearing your heart more on your sleeve. I feel you usually keep your, your emotions to yourself. You kind of hold back. But I feel that's changing. I feel that you used to be like this with someone and someone is being like this with you. But I feel you're going to try to transform the situation because you're thinking about someone an awful lot or someone is thinking about you. Recent past, yeah, Five of Swords. Five of Swords, again, self-negative talk, doubts, confusion in a situation. <clears throat> but here we have the Hierophant. So you may want finally a commitment after always breadcrumbing people or certain people in your life. And now I feel like you're stepping up into like another another level in your life where now you might want the commitment after being this type of in and out energy with someone i also feel like be careful with people always asking for money they always need me need, need, and it's it, it can be draining like watch your pockets you may like again this this card is you know spiritual ascension as well elevating spiritually Also, you may be signing contracts. You may be starting a new job somewhere. I think you're going to be happy, though. You could be married or you could be thinking of marriage or commitment with someone. 
I feel like you're always giving. And in, in another way, I feel like you've someone is always wanting more from you, like emotionally or whatever, but you only can give so much to the connection. Probably because you are married and you're probably dealing with someone who wants more, but you just can't give it to them because you're already in a commitment for some of you, not all of you. Some of you may be lacking finances, feeling like you don't have enough and needing more money. There may be a balance that may come in, like where things have gone from not having to having, like where things come into balance. At the bottom of the deck, we do have judgment. Something is coming in for you, a change. There's a decision that needs to be made soon. At the top of the deck, you do have the Queen of Pentacles. This represents Capricorn. It also can represent Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is grounded, stable energy. You might have your sights on a, a Capricorn or someone of Earth energy. Wanting to give to this person. This person, you see them as abundant, stable, grounded. They have their shit together, so to speak. I feel you're in nostalgia about this person. Like, you think about this person often, but I feel like you hold your... You hold your emotions back like you don't express yourself you don't say anything to them even if you feel however you feel for them wanting to take this leap of faith seeing them as the star i think at one point you were being sneaky and i think it was found out and that's not for everyone that's for some of you it could be vice versa do do flip the roles as you need to, and remember that this is a general reading. <clears throat> so, you know, the reading may or may not resonate with you, or pieces of the, the um, reading. Pieces of the reading may resonate, but, you know, leave whatever for whoever else. Um, yeah. Let's see what else. Yeah, yeah, I feel like there's this player energy that you or someone is being a player for the females. Be careful with this player energy. Again, this represents Sagittarius right here. This is the, no, I'm sorry. This doesn't represent Sagittarius. I'm sorry. I thought this was the Knight of Wands for a second. This is the Knight of Cups. I'm sorry. This represents the water signs. So it represents Pisces, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, someone wanting to come in with the love offer. But I feel like this person is somewhat of a player. So I don't know if that's you, uh, Sagittarius, if you're the player in this whole thing, or you like to play around, or maybe you just want to make a move towards a person, you know, make amends, bring this love to this person who's holding back, or you feel that is holding back from you right now, like send them roses, come, you know, come to them and, you know, express yourself finally. There is abundance if you want it but i feel like you're blocking it like you don't have your full abundance right now right now it's at a block i think there's too much self-negative talk maybe you know thoughts of lack with this here you might have like where you feel like you don't make enough money so you're in a lack mindset you may need to change this lack mindset where you may need money so you could start, you know, manifesting abundance in your life because I feel it can also be where you need money or you feel like you need money having a lack mindset. You could be with a Taurus, married to a Taurus. But you may want a commitment with someone else. Yeah, because there's judgment here. There's, there's a decision that needs to be made. Possibly between two people. Yeah, look, right under that. Wow. Right, be, right under that, I got the two of wands. A decision that needs to be made, possibly with two people. Maybe thinking about even making a move to be with someone. And again, this is the fire sign. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. That was my three-year-old. You might want to go somewhere uh, to see someone. You may want to travel. Um, but I feel like you're trying to make a decision between two people. You want to start a passionate new beginning with someone. But you're going through conflicts here. 
You have a lot of inner conflicts. I think there's a lot going on in your world. Though you may love someone or have passionate feelings for someone, they're always burning in your mind. That you're always thinking about them. You're always in nostalgia when you think about them. You want to manifest something with them. But I think you feel that this person, what I feel is you feel like this person is has their back turned to you and you're feeling left out in the cold. This person may also feel left out in the cold because you might have so much going on. I feel like you have so much going on, maybe they feel left out in the cold. I think there's a lot of people talking in your ear. I think that's where all the conflicts come, all the debates, because, you know, maybe this person doesn't fit with you, and maybe you're at a different culture or, or something like that from you, you know, maybe. Excuse me. And um, let me see here. I feel this person that you think has their back to you actually wants to manifest you as well. You might know that as well, but at the same time, you feel like they're closed off. They have their back turned away from you, like they're not really there the way you want them to be there, probably so much so. You do want passion with this. This person is always burning in your mind. This person, is, you know, you have a lot of passion for them. Could you please, oh my God, he can't be serious right now. Give me just a second, guys. Oh, Lord. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you want to manifest something with them. But I feel like there's a lot of self-negative talk. There's a lot of debates. I feel like there's people talking in your ear, making it more confusing for you. But I feel like every time you think about this person, you're in nostalgia. You definitely want to come in with a brand new beginning. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so the next card I'm going to do is Jennifer Aquarius. And let's see if we could, I'm going to do at least three more different sets of cards or two. Is it two more? This is going to be past, present, future, and outcome. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. What you said. All right, past. Love is in the air. Oops. Present, make a move. Oh. Yeah, future, you see this person has closed off, or you might feel this person has closed off. Outcome. Maybe you're closed off. Maybe you're closed off. Hold on, too many cards here. Hold on. Yeah, I saw something with cash flow here. Yeah, you may need to watch your money and spend wisely. Maybe you need to pull back. Maybe people always with their hand out needs to stop. So that was another card. So I'm going to put that here anyway. Cash flow. Maybe you're holding off because you feel you don't have enough money. No. I need you to stop. No. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So the outcome position gave me offer coming in so either you're offering someone something or someone is going to offer you something maybe someone wants a new relationship with you for the females yeah and the bottom be careful because it says drama are they really your friends so you may be dealing with other people talking in your ear and they don't really have your best interest. They might want you, so they might talk you out of dealing with this person. Yeah. The next set of cards I'm putting down are my lover's oracles. What are the messages for Sagittarius? Past, present, future, and outcome. Past. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. That's what I'm saying. Someone here. <clears throat> what was that card that I was just looking at? Yeah, in the bottom of the deck. Yeah, like some of your friends, supposed friends, they're like, yeah, you shouldn't be with that person, whatever, for whatever reason. <clears throat> but it's because they have their own agenda. <laughs> they have their own agenda. And that's in the recent part, present. Here we go. So presence has balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. 
you have in the future and it says beware not beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection and the last one for outcome <clears throat> And it says, new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Exactly. Leave it, live it passionately. Just go with the flow. Okay. So now I'm going to do my Island Wellness Tarot cards or Oracle cards. Okay. So for past, we have palm tree, stability, security. Permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Um, the second one, <clears throat> which is present, is um, talking, interested, conversing more, awaited messages, arrives, text call, email, hovering. You may be wanting someone to come in and call you, and they don't even realize it. They may not even want to bother you because they feel like you just have too much on your plate. Date, meeting someone new. Dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. Outcome. Oops, too many. Hold on. Okay, what are the outcome messages for Sagittarius? There we go. And you have karmic relationship, feeling triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Yeah, the new beginning may be with yourself or, yeah. Maybe you feel relationship is fleeting. Maybe there's a relationship you want to go to, but you feel like it's fleeting, like you just can't do anything. Yeah. The bottom says heart with a key and it says welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect at the top of the deck you have cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting hesitation and that's what i have for you uh sagittarius again if you would like my light sears tarot deck do like subscribe and comment in the comment section the light sears uh giveaway or light sears giveaway and that way <clears throat> you can enter for a chance to win uh this deck <clears throat> um let me see anything else i want to call yeah i think that's about it for now <sighs> yeah i feel there's someone I feel like you want, but I feel like at the same time, you feel like you can't come together. And I feel this person is that person. You want to take a leap of faith. <clears throat> I feel like you're always, like someone is always in your mind. You're always thinking about them. Like they're all you think about. Like you're literally drowning in thoughts about them. Again, with this judgment card, it looks like she's almost just everything is like, just underwater like it's just consuming her a judgment something like he, you, this person is thinking about someone or something this is also um spiritual elevation growth so you may be transforming spiritually as well i think i'm gonna leave that at that and um well, until next time. Also, if you want to see all my links, they're in the links description box below. Everything from Phoenix Gibbs' new book, 365 Affirmations, to um, my personal readings, to um, Unique Serendipity's Facebook link. Everything is down there. Um, until next time, my loves. Namaste, love, and light. God bless.